The local organizing committee of the 2020 African Nations Championship has assured that Cameroon will be ready for the tournament before April. With barely a month and a half to kick off, there are concerns that the country could find itself in the crosshairs of the Confederation of African Football once again after being stripped of the rights to host the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations finals. CGTN's Sadiq Shaban reports from Cameroon. This was the first meeting of the African Football Fraternity after a tough year of relations between Cameroon and the Confederation of African Football. Having taken away this tournament's hosting rights from Ethiopia and handing it over to Cameroon last year, CAF finally admitted the confusion it created in the run-up to this competition. They've come a long way. Uh, there were uh, also some controversialists, but um, uh, I think uh, they're on the right way, and uh, we will accompany them to, to also um, have uh, good implementation. This is very, very important, but that's, what we are, that's why we're also there for. Cameroon has had to renovate some existing structures and build new facilities for this tournament. CAF inspectors have been keeping a close eye on the progress to gauge the host nation's readiness and capacity to manage the expectations. We have come here quite uh, a couple of times, even before uh, the draw, we did an inspection visit as well. And uh, yeah, we will keep on uh, pushing for the details, which is very, very important. Uh, you know, we want to see good football on the pitch, but we also want to see good organization off the pitch. The local organizing committee has only a few more weeks to sort out pending issues and tie up on the last details of this competition. We are ready uh, for the sham. There's no, absolutely no problem. It's only four stadiums among the seven that we have. Among the seven, there's one who is going to be finished in the next couple of months. Uh, will be ready for, for the 2021 uh, AFCON. Honestly, we have no worry of, at all. And as the finalists prepare to travel to Cameroon for the tournament, the government has assured teams, visitors and general public of their security and safety in the wake of continued unrest in parts of countries' southwest and northwest regions. It's an opportunity to all of us to know how the competition is going to take place and to the students and everyone to see how Cameroon is really organized and to how they are going to make it. We are ready and we are, we are hungry. We, we, are, we want to express something we missed on the last competition. So uh, we are ready and we expect to give the best. With the tournament fast approaching, African Football Fraternity will be hoping that the wheels of organization will move even faster and that there will be no more last-minute surprises from the Confederation of African Football. They could well be feeling the pressure of organizing and preparing to host two of Africa's biggest football competitions in a period of one year. But Cameroon insists they are ready to provide a world-class football experience, beginning with the 2020 African Nation Championship in April. Sadiq Shaban, CGTN in Douala, Cameroon.